So it's been a while, let's go into the electrical workshop and let's see what our learner's been getting up to today. So I think they're doing A3 radial socket circuits and some lighting circuits. Let's see what that looks like today. Okay then, Lewis, what are you up to? So I'm wiring up a radial socket circuit. Now I can see uh, it's got a join box in it. For anyone said anything, Gaz absolutely hates that join box. It's part of an assessment. And what size is the fuse for this A3 radial? 20 amps. And which uh, item is offering additional protection to the circuit? The RCD. And what rated value is your RCD at? 30 milliamps. Okay, good, crack on. So I'm here with Nathan, uh, his job, and he's also wiring an A3 radial socket circuit like the rest of his group. What's the maximum floor area this circuit can serve? Uh, that is 50 meters squared. 50 meters squared. How many socket outlets can you have in that area? An unlimited amount. And what's the BS number of the socket outlets we're using? Uh, that's a BS1363. Thank you. So Callum, you're using your torque screwdriver there. Can you tell me the newton meters of torque you're using for the neutral and earth bar, please? I'm using 1.7 newton meters. Okay, and when we do the actual circuit breaker itself? I'm going to use 2.3 newton meters. Okay, thank you. Okay, I've just turned up with George, and George is just removing the cable. Why is that, George? I've uh, nicked the, P uh, the PVC on the line conductor. Okay, PVC stands for? Polyvinyl chloride. And what's the maximum operating temperature of the insulation there, which is thermoplastic PVC? 70 degrees Celsius. Okay, and you're taking it out, are you, mate? Yeah. Well done. What are you carrying out for me, please, Christian? The continuity and the polarity between line and neutral. So you're doing the radial socket circuit, but we're actually testing, first of all, between line and neutral as part of which test did you say? Uh, polarity. Good, okay, let's do that then first. So he's linked in his consumer unit line and neutral, and he's at socket number one then. Okay, so on you go. Yep, um, here you plug in the tester. Then you can see the reading. Um, you need to test for if the switch uh, actually works. Got it. Okay, so it should have gone off. Yep. And it has. Brilliant. Where are you going to next? The other side. Okay. Why are we bothering doing the other side? To make sure the it works. What works? What on the other the side? The switch. Okay, let's do that then. And we've seen it go off again. And then. Are we going to record any of these readings between line and neutral? No. Okay, carry on. We know it's part of what test? The polarity. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. Okay. As we get further away, what do we expect to happen to our reading? Uh, increase. Okay. Okay. okay, which conductors are you going to link together now in the consumer's unit? The CPC online. Are we going to record any of those readings? Yes. Which of the readings are we going to record are the ones we get? The highest. And which other test can we say then is completed? Uh, polarity. Brilliant. So we've just had a carton full of charisma and we're ready to go for the next stage. Okay, so which two conductors are you now linked in the consumer's unit? The line and CPC. We have, and we're going to go to each socket in turn, is that true? Yes. Of all the readings you get now, which one will you record? The highest. Okay, let's start that then. Okay. So here we have plugged in, and we get a reading of 0.04. Okay. Uh, What's that? Yeah, it's gone off, yes. Yeah. Is to check if the switch is working or not. Yeah, okay. As well as achieving our continuity reading, what other tests will be completed at the same time? The polarity. What do we put in the polarity box? Tick. We do, and of all the readings you get, which one are you going to record? The highest. And where do you expect that to be in your circuit? The furthest. Okay. And then up to here. Highest reading so far, yeah? Do you yeah. agree? Yes. Okay. So you finished your continuity CPC and polarity test for this circuit. I noticed that you left all your switches in the on position. Which test requires them to be left on? The insulation resistance test. Are we going to carry that test next? Yes. Seems like an eternity, Callum, but we're ready to go live. Yeah. So, can you energize your RCCP? Right. And your circuit breaker? That's moment of truth. Tell your face you're happy? Yeah. You pleased? Yeah. Turn and face me then. 
that a please yeah. look? Oh yeah. Turn it on then, turn it back on again. Can we check the functionality please of the RCCB? And can we reset it? Can you do the same for the breaker? The breaker. Can you do the breaker as well while you're there for me, Callum? Just push the breaker down. Okay, the circuit gone off. Goes back on. Are you happy? Yeah. Smile then. 